Okay, I hope this is recording properly. Today we're going to go over how to vectorize an image, depending on what you want, for an embroidery project. Software I use is called SoArt. I bought it. They give you a free trial uh, where you could do one color stuff Oops. don't mind that that's a TV in the background um, Ozark great show anyway but I just bought the actual program for like 40 bucks so you open that up uh, go to your file that you want designed let's see I was interested in making this this symbol from a show for someone let's see i think this is the original yes so you see the original now my embroidery machine is a brother se 400 it only has a four by four frame that it can sew things onto so that means I the first couple of times I did this actually I made the mistake of not resizing my image so I would vectorize it and it would give my pro my machine so many problems it would bundle the 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 oh, I'm forgetting what the white thread is called um the backing I can't remember but basically it was it was bundling that it kept ripping the thread apart it kept poking holes in my clothes just because the image is way too big for like we'll see here look so right now this is for some reason it's in millimeters clearly it must be a European uh, program so we go to Google and we do millimeters to inches. So this is 132, so this is five inches by eight inches. Much too big for my four by four frame. So what I do is I put four inches there. It's about 101. So I don't actually want it that big. Four inches is pretty big. I want it to be maybe about two inches tall, the whole thing. About two inches tall. So it's about 50. So, and I keep the uh, aspect ratio locked because you don't want the image to get distorted. You want to keep the image as is. So we do 50 and boom. Now it pixelates it a bit, which it's kind of annoying, but what can you do? Then what we do is we posterize it just a little bit, just to get some of the, the make it a little smooth. So just. So you see those the difference there, that little shadow, it kind of gets rid of it, which you don't think it, it matters. You might not think it matters, but it, it matters when you go to sew it. Then you got to do a bunch of little things. This, this helps you avoid. So remove small scale speckles. Just This is a real simple image, so just make that as smooth as possible. Um, blending. So... Let's see how that turns out. Great. Then we vectorize it. 
Oh, well, actually, that did the job for us. Then we go to Stitch Image. If you like the way it looks, it's fine. Uh, go to Stitch the Image. So, now let me just clear these stitches. It auto-stitched it, but... So, what I want to do, actually, is... Hmm. I want to do a outline. Because filling it, look, this is how it fills. It fills in one direction, and it just looks weird when you, you print, when you uh, actually embroider it. I think that the outline works a lot better than the actual printing. So what we do is we running, yes, running. So what we do is outline, 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 right? Right, so, and then we fill. If I'm not mistaken, actually, I might be mistaken. So, let's see. Let's see how it does without the out, without the fill. Again, this I'm just learning this myself. It's just a simple outline. Hmm. See, applique says that, but what did I do last time? If I'm not mistaken, I did outline and then fill and then fill. Let's see how that comes out. Mm. Outline. Oops, outline, fill, test one, test one, outline, fill, test one, clearly I've tried a couple other ones, and now I did download another program to help me view what it stitches like before I actually stitch it. And I believe this one is actually free. It's called Wilcom True Sizer 3.0. All right. So, we open our True Sizer, go to our designs where we have it saved, and you full metal, no items. You gotta make sure to go to file type, our file type, because we have a brother, depending on what machine you're using, is PES. See? All right, and that's what it comes out as. Doesn't look too bad, but when we sew it, when we embroider it, we actually have to test it. It always looks good when you view it on here, but it really matters on the material of the fabric, the your stitching equipment, everything matters. So this helps you kind of see it. So we'll do our little outline and then fill it. All right. So that is how to vectorize a drawing and get it ready for embroidery uh, let me show you another thing really quick let's say we don't posterize pa posterize it something let me pick a image here same image oh. 
Um, I think this one has been done already. Let me pick a random one, okay? Let's see. Mm, see if this one works. Yep. Here we go. This is the original drawing. This hasn't been touched. This hasn't been edited yet. So, we go to resize it. Let's say 60 again. Or 50. Okay. Now, we want to... Similar to what we did with the posterizing, we're going to just do the image wizard. So, the image wizard basically does everything for you. You just have to follow the instructions. So, next, what you want to do is, according to the instructions, again, once you get it, is always try to aim for the lowest one. If you can hit the lowest, uh, lowest option, that's the best option. But if it changes your image too much, then just start going up until your image starts looking like the one on the left, like the original. Next. So this one's looking pretty similar. Good enough. Next, 100% good enough. 12% good enough. Boom. This is an easy one, white and black one. Let me show you what it looks like with a colored one and why why this matters. So, uh, Pokemon. I was recently doing a Pikachu. Okay, so, Pikachu. <laughs> um, let's go to 50. Uh, 50 is a little small. Let's go 70 with this one. Okay, so, then we go to Image Wizard next and this is why you see how now it's starting to get rid of colors basically so no we don't want that so we'll say 6 25 oh perfect next no not that this one comes out too broken apart This could work, but this one is, ah, the tongue is off, so we keep going up, perfect. Now, it's not great, but it's good. We do want the outline, so, boom, outline next. No, we don't want <laughs> nothing but yellow. Perfect. Now, you see how even though after we're done, you see how the outline is kind of broken apart? What you kind of have to do sometimes is go in there freehand and with a thin pencil or marker, just kind of connect the outlines. It's tedious, but that's why it matters sometimes on the quality of the picture you get. And if it's made for this purpose. But it doesn't take too long. It takes maybe 10 minutes to do this. And once you're done all that, then stitch image. And you do the same thing. You just click what you want to stitch. So... Um, if you want to stitch that first, I would pick an order. So start from top to bottom or bottom to top or left to right. Pick an order and stay consistent, especially with colors. You want to do all the colors at once. So make sure you don't go black, black, yellow, red, black, yellow. Because your machine's going to stitch it in this exact order. So not only will it be jumping all over the place on the shirt, you're going to have to constantly switch out threads. So what you want to do is keep it consistent and uh, do, oops, do all the black at once. So black. Then do all the yellow at once. Then do all the red at once. And so forth, you guys understand. And that those are last. Alright, well, anyway, good luck, 
And if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below. Thank you. Bob, what's mommy? Bob, what's mommy?